Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, this is a memorial mass in honor of uh, my aunt, uh, Margarita Caniete Pilapil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we believe that our dwelling on earth is but for a time and that our true homeland is in heaven. We gather in faith to pray for our sister Margarita Caniete Pilapil, who has been called to live forever in the dwelling place prepared for all God's faithful. Let us just pause for a moment of silent prayer. Let us pray. O God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayers on behalf of your servant Margarita Caniete Pilapil, whom you have called out of this world, and because she has put her hope and trust in you, command that she may be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now listen to the first <laughs> reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with mar marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on his mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lord, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. The responsorial Sam. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the is, Lord my shepherd. is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall, not. I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Response. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There is nothing I shall, I shall want. Not. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod are your staff. They comfort me. Response. The Lord, the Lord is, my, is sh my, shepherd. my shepherd. There is nothing, there I, is shall nothing I shall want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Response. The, the Lord, Lord is, is, my is my shepherd. There is nothing, I, there is shall nothing want. I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long response the lord is my the shepherd. lord is my shepherd there, there is, is nothing, nothing I, shall want. I shall want a reading from the letter of paul to the philippians our citizenship is in heaven and it is from there that we are expecting a savior the lord jesus christ he will transform the body of our humiliation that it may be conformed to the body of his glory. 
by the power that also enables him to make all things object to himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Thanks be to God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and also with your soul with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the readings today teach us that life on earth is just temporary. Okay. We are just pilgrims passing through this world. Our final destination is heaven. Death is not the final word, but God's mercy and love. The mercy of God is beyond measure. Death was that part of God's plan when he created the world and the universe and everything in it, including the human race. Because of man's disobedience, sin entered the world, and death was the price of the original sin we inherited, the sin of Adam and Eve. But God, in his mercy and love, sent his only begotten son, <coughs> Jesus Christ, and dwelt among us to fulfill God's promise that we may be saved. God forgives sinners like the sinful woman who was caught in adultery. Jesus did not condemn the sinful woman. Rather, Jesus challenged her accusers, the scribes, the Pharisees, and the teachers of the law, that those who have no sin must cast the first stone. Realizing that they were all sinners, they left the sinful woman alone. They left one by one. So Jesus turned to her and said, Woman, where are they? Have no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Jesus said to her, Neither I condemn you. Go and sin no more. The mercy of God is what we celebrate today in honor of a woman, a mother, sister, grandmother, aunt, teacher, and friend, Margarita Caniete Filapil, who has now entered eternal life after fulfilling her mission on earth her mission of showing mercy to those who needed love and care, especially the most who needed love and care, her children, nieces, and nephews, without reservation. If other mothers have their favorites, Aunt Margarita treated each of her children with dignity. Aside from being a teacher, there was no favoritism except for her love to everyone who treated them equally under her watch. As a living testimony to this, myself, to Aunt Margarita's devotion and her faith in God, 
She was an active member of, of St. James Parish in Kaibiran. When I was still a seminarian way back in 1994 to 1998, I used to come home to Kaibiran in the summer. She was always present at the Flores de Mayo devotion, praying the rosary before the mass and at the dawn procession during the month of October in honor of the Our Lady of the Holy Rosary or the Aurora. Along with the other ladies of the CWL and the Legion of Mary and other volunteers in the parish, they were singing the Ave Maria at the dawn procession. When I came back in 2015, I was already a priest. Aunt Ita was there in the church. Although she was already fragile due to her old age, but she came in church. She came not because of me. She came because of her faith, celebrating the gift of priesthood. God has given me for being chosen among the many to be his priest. So much so that Aunt Margarita appeared to me in my deep sleep in my dream on the day that she passed away. In my dream, she asked me to anoint her on her deathbed. I entered her room and administered the holy anointing of the sick. Upon the imposition of the holy oil on her forehead, when I prayed the prayer through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. After saying this prayer of the church, to my surprise, little by little, Aunt Margarita's eyes were open. She rose up from her bed and spoke up to me saying, you have learned many things. Then I woke up from my sleep and when I woke up, I saw some post on Facebook that indeed Aunt Ita has already passed away. My brothers and sisters, what a blessing to me as a priest and to each one of us who are here today to witness the life of Aunt Margarita, her love of God and neighbor, and being an instrument of God's mercy to those who are in pain and in distress during these times. In conclusion, I would like to read a quote from a spiritual writer when he says, From the earliest times, Christians have desired that the faithful departed become the objects of the Christian community's prayers and remembrance. Their tombs have become places of prayer, remembrance, and reflection. The faithful departed remain part of the church who believes in the <clears throat> communion of all the faithful of Christ, those who are pilgrims on earth, the dead who are being purified, and the blessed in heaven are together forming the church. And so today we ask God to embrace Aunt Margarita with God's conditional love and mercy that one day we shall meet her again in the fullness of time in God's eternal glory. And so we pray. Eternal rest grant unto Margarita Caniete Pilapil, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul Amen. and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. We will now pray the prayer of the faithful as I begin. Jesus, our Savior, has gone before us and prepared a place for us in our Father's house. We now place our trust in him and say, in every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Margarita. In baptism, she died with Christ. May she now share in the fullness of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. God is full of mercy and compassion. Mm -hmm. May he forgive Margarita any sins 
she committed through human frailty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. Hear our prayer. For the sorrowing family, relatives, and friends of Margarita, that they may find strength and consolation in their Christian faith and in the love and support of this community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. We pray for those who mourn Margarita's death, especially her children, that they may find strength and consolation in the hope that we have through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, we pray the Lord to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. To the Lord. We pray for all of us here today and for all members of the Cañete and Pilapil families that we may be comforted by God's strength and consolation to the love and support of one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our prayer. hear our prayers. God of all consolation, help us to comfort one another in our grief. We pray for all those who have died, especially all members of the Cañete and Pinapil families. Lord, give them the, re the reward of their goodness, enjoying the eternal peace and happiness in your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. And in the quiet of our hearts, let us now include our other personal intentions. O God, creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants release from all their sins. Hear our prayers for those we love and give them the pardon they have always desired. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will now proceed with the preparation of gifts. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Be God forever. Remain being as water and wine. When we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Forever. Forever. Bless me, O Lord, from iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Margarita Caniete Pilapil, beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And lift, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom thy come. Thy, thy will be done come. on earth as it is in heaven. Earth as give us this day give our daily bread, our daily bread and, forgive us our and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive as those we who trespass against us. Against us. And lead us not into and temptation, and temptation, but deliver us from evil. Us from evil. Amen. 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 Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace Amen. of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer Amen. each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you out to the Rosita. Peace be with you, you to Father so Nelson. Peace kay ano, sino itong ano natin? And Shana. Shana, peace Shana. with you. Peace to you. Okay. Sige. We'll continue with the Mass. May communion right pa tayo. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And my soul shall be healed. Amen. Since you cannot receive communion in person, we will pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, we may possess in purity of heart, that what is given to us in time be our healing for eternity. May your body, O Lord, which I have eaten, and your blood, which I have drunk, Cleave to my very soul, and grant that no trace of sin be found in me, whom these pure and holy mysteries have renewed, we who live and reign, world without end. Amen. So, Amen. Uh, thank you, Ate Teresita and Isabel, for joining in this memorial mass. And maybe mm -hmm. our relatives and family members uh, back home, they can just uh, watch the recording on Facebook Live, which will appear later on uh, anytime during the day. So God bless mm. you on your way to your work today. And as we will have the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God.